Today I am building a open air cryptocurrency mining rig frame. That's a GPU mining rig. And I'm just building it out of very simple uh, aluminum angle. This angle is inexpensive and it can be bought at most local hardware stores and even some flooring stores as it can be used for trim. For cutting the aluminum you can do a couple of things. You can just use a regular hand ha hacksaw. Um, aluminum is very soft so you can go through it quite easily. Or you could use a powered chop saw. I have seen other builds made out of both wood or steel or even plastic. I prefer to use the aluminum simply because it's lightweight, it's easy to shape, and it provides the grounding conductivity from the power supply units to all the other components which you don't get in wood or plastic. Also I wouldn't want to use wood simply because it is a flammable material and having a flammable material near heat producing uh, electrical components is never a great idea. I'm just going to quickly mark out where I think the holes should be for them to be attached together. I'm uh, just using regular pencil. Another nice thing about aluminum is that you can draw on it with pencil or marker and the marks are very clearly legible. Once they're all marked, I'll go to the drill press. You can use a hand drill for this, though the drill press is much nicer if you have one. I'm just going to use a bit that's slightly larger than the threaded part of the screw. And these screws are self-tapping and they have a large head, so I don't have to worry about them slipping through too large of a hole. I'm not using a punch to center where I'm going to be drilling. Uh, again, I don't need to make this very precise. I do tap the drill bit against it just to see where it's going to land uh, so I get some accuracy in there. And that's enough for it to fall right into place. Now I'm just going to build the lower part of the rig. This is the part where the motherboard will sit. And check it to make sure that my measurements were correct and the motherboard will in fact fit in there. That looks like a pretty good fit. I'm going to assemble the rest of the base of the frame. And this is really simple just using a driver. You could use a drill as well. Um, you don't need to thread any of the holes. They're self-tapping screws. So if you use machine screws you would need to thread them. Those center struts are to support the back end of the PSU once it's placed into the rig. These are the holes where the standoff screws for the motherboard will go into and these do need to be threaded. The tap that I'm using is a number 6-32 UNC and this is the standard thread for all computer chassis screws. And then this is where the graphics cards will sit. So those will also need to be threaded for the machine screws to hold them in place. Put the standoff screws in there. And just hand tighten them with a pair of pliers. And then attach the motherboard with the uh, computer chassis screws. Again, hand tightening is just fine. Don't want to over tight that and crack the motherboard. Now that first build was the prototype of it and it was okay but I wanted to build something that was a little bit cheaper, a little bit faster so these are more standardized lengths and it's slightly uh, shorter and has a, a smaller footprint when it comes to size. It goes together quite easy. Uh, once you get the hang of it and the measurements down the rig takes one to two hours to build straight from cutting, drilling, and 
assembly. So pretty quick. Say so that this is a very inexpensive build. I think it's about forty dollars in aluminum, which is quite a bit less compared to uh, most two hundred to three hundred dollar rigs that you can find online that are usually for only six to eight cards. Now instead of mounting the motherboard directly to the rig frame, I have instead chosen to mount it to a piece of steel plate. This is gauge steel. Uh, again, very inexpensive. Once you lay it onto the steel, just mark out the spots where you'll need to drill the holes. This needs to be a little bit more precise, but there is still some play. Now this right here, the first one I did was a two motherboard um, rig, each one running six cards. So that's why there's two plates there. Again, the holes need to be tapped or threaded for the motherboard standoff screws. And these PSUs are going to have to stand up on their side because there's just not enough space for them to lay down and be attached to the front bar. Luckily they line up right with the ang piece of angle aluminum that runs the length of it that supports the bottom of the GPUs, where the GPUs sit. The next video is going to detail how to assemble all of the hardware components of the GPU mining rig and some tips and tricks on how to do this successfully. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.